is your C drive running low on memory and you want to free up hard drive space on Windows, then you have come to the right place. So on Windows, we can free up space on computer in many different ways. So let's discuss those ways one by one. The first way is by emptying your recycle bin. Yeah, that's right. If your recycle bin is having some files here, you can always right click on it and then click on empty recycle bin and delete those files so that you can reclaim those storage space. If the recycle bin icon is not here on your desktop, you can press Windows plus E like this. It's going to open up the file explorer and then you can type recycle bin here. The option is here, recycle bin, just click on it and the recycle bin is going to open up for you. Apart from this, there's one more thing that you can do with the recycle bin. You can change the recycle bin settings because Windows is going to reserve a part of your hard disk for the deleted files. So all you need to do is just right click here and then click on properties. Or if you are working with the recycle bin icon, then you can go back to your desktop and then right click on the recycle bin icon and then you can click here on properties. It's going to open up the same properties like this. Now from here you can observe that for different drives, Windows is reserving different percentage of the hard disk space. And uh, let's check our C drive. My C drive is around 237 GB and Windows is keeping around 13.8 GB. So I will recommend to decrease this value. You can make it 10 GB. You can just click here on apply and then click on OK. Now let's move to the second way. In the second way, we are going to free up the space by removing the junk files with the help of storage sense. Let's open it up. So first of all, just right click on your start button like this and then you can just click here on settings. Then on the left side, you have to click on system and uh, then just look for this option that says storage. All right. Now you can see the storage sense is already enabled here. So you can use this feature to run maintenance automatically or you can also use this feature to delete the files manually. So let's click here and then you can see we have different tabs here. First one says temporary files. So there are no temporary files. Then let's see large or unused files. This is also empty. In your case, if it is not empty, then you can delete those files by going through them then files sync to the cloud and then finally the apps which are unused so if you come across the apps which you do not use then you can delete them like I'll just delete this file and then let's just return back to this storage alright and then let's check out this one that says temporary files just click on it and then coming under here you will find different options or different category of files the first one says Windows Update Cleanup. So you can tick this one. Then you can tick mark this one that says System Error Memory Dump Files. Not needed anymore. Then for the thumbnails also you can delete them. Then Delivery Optimization Files. You can delete this one also. Then the Temporary Internet Files. You can delete this. Temporary Files. Delete this. Windows Error Reports and Feedback Diagnostics. You can delete this one also. Error Mini Dump Files. Delete. DirectX shader cache delete windows upgrade log files this one also can be deleted and then finally you can just click here on this button which says remove files and it says total selected is 5.51 GB so this much space is going to be recovered so let's just click on this remove files and then click here on continue now once the process is over I'll just click here on storage once again and earlier I had around 99 GB free on my C drive. Now it is 102. And let's see some more categories from which we can free up the space. And then you can click here on system and reserved and see what are the applications saved here. Now here you can observe that 6.32 GB is utilized by hibernation. Now you can turn off the hibernation. We shall discuss about hibernation in the later part of this video. And then we have system restored. It is occupying 3.89 GB. It saves copies of required system files in case you need to restore your PC to a previous state. So you can click here on manage system restore and you can see it is on only on the C drive. Then you can click here on configure and you can see system protection is on. 
the maximum usage allowed is only 2% that is 4.74 you can decrease it if it is possible you can make it 2.37 and then just click on ok alright then you can just click back on this windows now this time let's click on others now coming under this others category you can see that this folder is occupying a lot of space so i'll just open it up and see what are the files that are being held here then let's check avd it's occupying 19 gb let's close this and let's open the avd folder and under the avd folder you can see that i have many virtual devices which i use for my android studio so you can delete the avds that we don't use so I'll just delete it from here. Alright. And I have left two AVDs here. And then we can just close this Windows Explorer. It's still showing 15 GB because we have not deleted it from the recycle bin. So I'll just clear my recycle bin also. Alright. And then open the settings. And just click on this C drive once again so that the categories are refreshed. Alright. Uh, let's open others and uh, now it is occupying only 7 gb instead of 15 gb then under gradle it's occupying 3.78 gb i'll let it be there then under documents it is occupying 1.34 gb let's check it out so here we have the wondershare wondershare is the software that i use for video editing and uh, i can see that it has downloaded different versions of wondershare while i do the update so we can delete these three versions they are not required anymore then I'll just close the Windows Explorer and then I'll just empty my recycle bin. Alright, let's open the settings and then click on Windows so that the categories are refreshed. Alright, then click on others once again. So in the same way you can go through other folders depending on your use, depending on your computer and then you can check out the files or folders that are not required anymore. You can delete them to free up the space. I hope you were able to understand how to go through this process. Now let's move to the third way that is freeing up the space using disk cleanup. And then just click here on your start button and then just search for disk cleanup. So this is the application. You just have to open it up. Alright. And then it's going to ask the drive you want to clean up. So you have to select that drive. Just click on OK. So let's click here on clean up system files. Then again select Windows C. Now you can see there's one more tab that says more options. Coming under more options, if you click here on clean up under programs and features, then you can delete the features of the programs that you don't use. And the second option is system restored and shadow copies. Now we can clean the restore points and uh, keep only the latest one. So I'll just click here on clean up and then it's going to give a prompt which says are you sure you want to delete all but the most recent restore point. So I'll just click here on delete. Alright then again come back to the disk cleanup tab. Now under here you can click on the contents that you want to delete. And uh, then finally you can just click here on ok and then delete files. Now the fourth way is by freeing up space using OneDrive. So what we have to do is we have to right click on the OneDrive folder so you can just scroll to your taskbar then click on this arrow and then you will find your OneDrive icon just right click on it and then you have to click here on settings alright now click here on sync and backup then scroll down till you find this advanced settings and then you can see this files on demand feature which means OneDrive is going to download the cloud files to this PC the first time you open them so you just have to click here on this button which says free up disk space and then once you click here on continue this is going to save space on this pc by setting all your files to online only which means all the files that you are keeping on your onedrive they will be made available to you from internet every time you try to open them up so you can click on continue now the fifth way is by removing the non-essential apps as well as the games you can right click on the start button and then just click on install apps now you can go through this list and then look for the applications that you don't use like for starter you can delete the solitaire suite 
games which are provided by windows if you do not use them there might be many applications like that you might not be using those applications so you can go through them one by one and delete them like for example i have this windows subsystem for linux i don't use it anymore so i can just uninstall it then i have this application wi-fi analyzer i'll uninstall this one also and later at some point of time if you want to use these applications then you can download and install them once again and also you can use this search bar to directly type the name of the application that you want to delete all right now once you are done with the applications then the next thing that you can look for is the unused languages so for the language you can just look for time and language here and click on it then you have to click on this language and region and then coming under here you can see i have three languages available here if you have many languages available but you use only one language or you hardly use the other languages you can delete them like i'm just going to delete this language hindi since i don't type in hindi in the same way you can delete some of the languages that you don't use now once you are done with the languages the next thing that you can delete is maps so for that you have to click here on apps now coming under the apps you can see we have this option that says offline maps you can click here now this is going to display all the maps that are available offline which means they have been downloaded and saved on my computer and here i have six maps which are downloaded to my computer now there are two ways to solve this either you can change this storage location you can make it any other drive which has sufficient amount of space or if you want to keep using the same drive and you just want to delete the maps then you can just click here on this category that says maps and uh, just click here and then it will show all the maps that are downloaded and kept on your computer now if you want to delete all of the maps you can click here on delete all otherwise if you want to keep some of the maps then you can delete individually in this way and later if you want to download more maps you can click here on download maps and then you can choose which maps to download all right and also you can change the storage location so that you don't have to save the downloaded maps into your c drive now once you are done with the maps also then we can move forward to deleting or uninstalling some of the optional features of windows so for that you have to click here on apps or you can just click here on the app settings and on this page you will have to look for apps and features or the optional features and then you can see the optional features that are installed on your computer if they are taking a lot of space you can go through the space they are occupying and then you can delete them accordingly or you can make them sort according to the size like this and then you can delete them if required now the sixth way to free up space on your c drive is by transferring files to external drive so all you have to do is buy one external hard disk like this and then you have to open the c drive and you can just copy the files from your c drive to the external hard drive and you can paste it there and the other things that you can do is changing the default location you can open up this folder that is the users folder and under this you can see the different folders like desktop documents downloads folder music pictures videos so what you can do is you can just right click on your desktop folder then click here on properties now under the properties you will find this tab that says location and then chances are that your desktop folder is in your c drive so whatever you keep in your desktop is going to be saved into your c drive so you can just change that you can create a folder desktop into d drive or any other drive which is not running low on storage and then you can change the location and then just click here on move it's going to give you a prompt whether you want to move all the files or not there you will have to tick mark on yes and all the files will be moved to the new location 
in the same way you can do this for the rest of the folders like the documents folder right click on the documents then properties and then you will have to select this tab that says location and then coming under here you will have to change the location for me it's in the d drive already because i have changed it earlier all right and then you can configure new location where you want the contents to be saved for that you just have to click here on the start button and then look for storage which will be under settings so you can just click here on storage settings or indirectly you can just open up system and then look for storage and then here you can click here on advanced storage settings and then look for this sub setting that says where new content is saved just click on it and then you can see all these options now the new applications by default are going into c drive you can change that you can make this c into d or e you can change these options where the documents is going to be saved where the music is going to be saved you can change these folders now the next thing that you can do is relocate apps or the games into another drive which means you are not reinstalling any application you are just moving them from the c drive to the new drive so for that you will have to just click here on apps and then click on install apps and then you can see all the applications that are installed on your computer all you have to do is just select an application like this and if it is possible for the application to be moved into a new location then this button will be there that says move so you will have to check the applications support for moving the content or the files of the application to a new drive if the application supports it then you will be able to move it now the seventh way to free up space in your computer is by using ntfs compression now windows also includes a compression feature which is a part of the nt file system in short we say ntfs which can be used to reduce the storage usage of current files while maintaining the normal access so let me show you what i mean you can just open up your pc then open up windows files and then here you can right click on any folder or file that you want to compress then you will have to click here on properties then just click here on advanced then you will find this option which says compress contents to save disk space now keep in mind that data compression can negatively impact system performance as it is going to compress and decompress data on the fly which means if you compress the files right now every time that you try to run the file your computer is going to decompress it before running it so either you can compress some of the files selectively or you can compress everything on your c drive by right clicking on the c drive and then properties and then clicking here which says compress this drive to save disk space if you do that then the entire drive will be compressed the trade off will be the performance but you will gain a lot of free space now the eighth way to free up space is by disabling hibernation on windows all you have to do is click on your start button and then just look for command prompt that is cmd and then right click on this command prompt and then just run as administrator now once the command prompt opens up you just have to type this command that is power cfg space forward slash hibernate space off this is going to turn off the hibernation and in future if you want to turn on the hibernation once again then you can just type the same command and instead of using off you just have to write on and the hibernation will be active once again now the ninth way to free up space is by rebuilding search indexer on windows open settings for that right click on the start button and then click here on settings then click here on this search box and then just type searching so this is the setting that i'm talking about windows search settings just click on it just scroll down till you find uh, this option that says advanced indexing options it's going to open up like this and then just click on this button that says modify and uh, then you can click here on show all locations now from here you can expand your c drive like this and then you can clear the folders that you do not wish to appear in search to reduce the database storage like this
or you can untick the entire windows c and then you can just click here on ok after completing the steps windows search is going to update the database now the 10th way to free up space is by deleting users which you are no longer using your device so for that you can just click on your start button and then click on your user whichever is opened up and then click on this option that says change account settings so this is the currently active account you can click here on the accounts since my computer is having only one account that's why other accounts are not visible here but if in your case you have more users on your computer then you can select that user and remove it from your computer you will have to delete account and data so that you can delete everything but make sure that you open up the user that you want to delete and check for any files or programs or folders that you don't want to lose and then you can return back to your administrator user and then delete the other user so that's all for this video i have showed you 10 different ways by which you can free up space on your c drive i hope you were able to retrieve or regain a lot of space that you can use for your critical files and folders as well as increasing the performance of your computer so if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching